Hey everyone. I have something that I want to show you that I'm pretty excited about actually. It's um, a couple of products from Ferris Will Press. And I have to say that Ferris Will Press, their products have been on my radar for probably just over a year. Um, it's mostly what attracted me to them. It's their packaging. I, I think it's a lot of fun. And um, so um, me and Ferris Will Press crossed paths and they said, hey, you know, I'd like to send you a pen and ink to try out. And I was like, yeah, of course, I'd love to. And so I, I got pen and an ink here in this box and this is what it was shipped in. So again, this is what, I can't help it, you know, I was a graphic designer in my former life and I still have, you know, I still pay attention and look for great design. So here's the box it was shipped in. It has the Ferris Wool Press logo. So that got my attention right away. I was like, wow, you know, that's, that's very, very thoughtful. You open the box. And inside is a bottle of ink and a fountain pen. So we're gonna take a look at these individually, of course. Let's take a look at the pen. So this is the Piccadilly Pink pen. And of course, I like pink a lot. They knew that. And so it comes in a really, really gorgeous, it's like a magenta pink box. And you know, the details of what pen it is, uh, just, that is just the coolest thing. On the back, it has designed and assembled in Toronto, Canada. So this Ferris Wool Press is a Canadian stationery company and they don't make just pens and ink. They also make notebooks and stuff like that. This is called the Brush Fountain Pen. And the reason for that is that the shape of the fountain pen, slides right out, the shape of the fountain pen is meant to mimic or imitate the shape of a paintbrush. When you slide that, this part off the box, so now we have this beautiful pen and it even comes in its own sleeve. Classy. Velvety and it has a Ferris wool press on there and it has a Canadian maple leaf. So I'm like so impressed by all this. I'm geeking out. I really am, I'm geeking out inside because on the back, it even has, there's a little bit of uh, print with the care instructions. And of course, a thank you for supporting Ferris Wool Press. Okay, I'm getting to the pen already. I just have to express how I feel about all this first. Take this pen out of its little sleeve. Isn't that, it's just a beautiful, simplistic design. I love that. It does have, it's a brass nut. The body and the barrel and the cap, it's copper. So it's coated copper. And so let's pull this out. From what I've read, you're supposed to use this pen unposted. And it's the reason for that is they say that by using this and look at hat, it does have that paintbrush shape to it. But by using this, it's, it's weighted enough to give you a good writing experience like this. Let's see, but it does post. I mean, but it posts and it's actually kind of nice when it's posted, I like it. But you know, it's suggested not, not to post. Maybe they're just, they don't want you to scratch up the finish or, or something like that. But then if you're worried about your cap rolling off the table, well, it says that this brass nut will prevent that from happening. Very thoughtful. I think that's very cool. Now the section that is like probably the coolest part of this pen. I mean, the overall design, the simplicity, this beautiful brass nut that's on here. Well, if you look closely, the design it has Ferris will press and just this really just cool design about it. And it has the size of the nib that is also inscribed here as well, which this is a fine steel nib. But even the, the nib has like this really great detail uh, where it says Ferris will press on it. It also comes with its own converter. 
And the converter also goes with this very well. And around it, you might notice it says, I think it says, tat tat, rat, rat tat, rat tat. It says rat, rat tat tat. So it has kind of a fun little thing. So while you're filling it with it, you go rat tat tat, rat tat tat. -a -tat. I don't know, I think that's cool. But the section is brass, so you have all these really cool brass little elements on this pen as well. I really like this way this looks. I hope it writes as awesome as it looks. I like its slim design. It's just a fun pen. It's just fun all around. And I love this bright pink, just beautiful. Now the ink, the ink also comes in this really impressive little box. So here's the ink. Very cool design. And this is actually not out yet. It's double raspberry pink. Or it's double raspberry. It's not out yet. So I've got an advanced sample of this. And it is, I believe it is available for pre-order. Now that, now that being said, there'll be other colors, but this is part of like their summer series. It's late summer series. The bottle is 38 milliliters of ink. Look at that. I mean, that is like the coolest bottle, right? I love this. So this matches the pen. I don't think it's really brass or anything, but, and then you have the logo. It looks like a perfume bottle to me, but I like it because, you know, it's beautiful. I love fountain pen bottles that are decorative and beautiful. And it, it does, to me, it looks like a perfume bottle. So I brought us just, so you can put this on your perfume shelf, you know, with everything else. I just, I think it's cool, but it looks like a perfume bottle. Excuse me. I love the way that smells. It smells good. Well, the next thing to do is to ink this pen up with this ink. It's gonna be a lot of pink. I love pink. So that actually gets me very excited. Lots of pink. And I'm also going to do an ink swab of this as well on one of my coloring cards, just so I have that in my files. All right, cool. Let's, let's do that. Let's stop staring, staring at the pen and ink. You go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it. Just, I'll do it in a second. Okay. <laughs>
Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Ferris Wheel Press paint brush pen and ink. I hope that you had learned something about it or at least maybe put this on your wish list or maybe something to get in the future. Hey, you know, Christmas isn't that far away, so it's start making your list and handing it out to your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I highly encourage you to check this out. You know, I'm not much of a fine nib type of person, but I have to say, I really enjoyed the way this writes. There's no skipping. It writes very smooth. And I'm actually very eager to try a medium nib to see what that's like as well. So I'm probably going to make my way over to the Ferris Wheel website and probably spend a, a small fortune. But you know, we, we all understand that, right? What this, is this, would you say it's, is it an addiction? Is it, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, if I'm gonna be addicted to something, <laughs> isn't this the best thing to be addicted to, pens and ink? I mean, I could be on crack, but I'm not. You know, great Whitney Houston once said, crack is whack, so she can afford better stuff. Maybe that's not the greatest example. Well, go check it out, guys. Go check out their Instagram as well. Their feed is so, it's like a happy place. I'm not kidding. Go to Ferris Will Press on Instagram and their, like their photos, all their stuff is like, it makes me happy to surf through it. And occasionally I just go look through it just for fun, so. That's all I've got. So at least I didn't rant this time. You're welcome. And that's how the ink flows. Mm -hmm.